Hi, my name is Dr. Rob Rosbrook, and I'm from the Hospital for Special Surgery. I wanted to give you an update on what we're doing for stature lengthening surgery, both for achondroplasia dwarfism and for constitutional short stature. Uh, the patients in this uh, presentation have given permission to uh, show their faces uh, and disclose their first names. When we do lengthening, we take advantage of the uh, bone's natural ability to regenerate. And distraction osteogenesis has three phases called the latency phase, the distraction, and the consolidation phases. During the distraction is the actual lengthening or pulling apart of the bone, usually at one millimeter per day. And you can see in this case of a tibia lengthening, uh, early distraction and the end of distraction. Consolidation then progresses as the bone mineralizes and becomes hard and structurally intact. Um, first, I'd like to tell you about uh, achondroplasia and how we approach this. Uh, this is Gabrielle. I had been following her since she was a little girl. She had a predicted height of um, 3 foot 11 inches. Patients with achondroplasia are disproportionate. Their lower extremities are relatively short to their torso and their upper bones or the thigh bones are particularly short. At age seven, we did bilateral femur and tibia lengthenings and achieved five centimeters. The new bone is noted here. And this is what it looks like when it's all healed with um, excellent remodeling in the femur and in the tibias. At age 13, we went back and did um, 10 centimeter lengthenings in both lower legs, bilateral tibia lengthenings of 10 centimeters. Here you can see the um, appearance of the bone just before frame removal. At age 14, um, she had already achieved 15 centimeters of height, but her arms were short and she had difficulty with reach. Uh, this is a functional disability for patients with achondroplasia. We lengthened both humerus bones or upper arm bones using external fixators and we achieved seven centimeters of new bone. This is the uh, function during the uh, time in external fixator doing range of motion and physical therapy exercises. Now at age 16 the plan was to do another 10 centimeters of lengthening in the thigh bones. The bones were too short for the use of an internal lengthening rod at that time, and our plan was to use a technique called lengthening over nail. With LON, or lengthening over nail, we use a combination of internal fixation and external fixation, and we lengthen the bone over the rod. The rod in this case was pulled into the bone to get the maximal amount of length. Um, you can see we achieved 10 centimeters of new bone and at this point the nails are locked and the external fixators are removed. This is the appearance of both femur bones uh, at the end of consolidation having achieved 10 centimeters of healthy new bone. Let's summarize Gabrielle's journey. She's now four foot nine at age seven we did five centimeters. At age 13, she grew 10 centimeters. At age 16, she grew another 10 centimeters, uh, achieving 25 centimeters in height. At age 14, between the second and third lower extremity lengthenings, we lengthened her arms seven centimeters to improve her reach and function. Now, at, um, as a young adult, she is four foot nine. She is very happy. She had a predicted height of three foot 11. This has improved the quality of her life. She's able to do lots of things that she was unable to do uh, before this. And here you can see her dress for prom and really enjoying her life. In summary, Gabrielle's journey at age seven, at age 14, and at age 16 after all lengthening. Now I'd like to discuss with you a different but related type of condition called constitutional short stature. This is for uh, patients who have uh, short stature less than the fifth percentile who express a profound dissatisfaction with their height. They have normal proportionality 
and it is something that really bothers them. It's a psychological issue uh, that is very important to them. It compromises their self-esteem, their confidence. They have a significant issue with their body image. Now, these patients undergo psychological evaluation with testing to make sure that they are good candidates for this procedure. This is the evaluation, a long x-ray to look at um, the appearance of the lower extremities. We measure the length and alignment. If there is any deformity, rotational or angular, this can be corrected at the time of the lengthening. And we measure segment lengths and look at the proportions of the bones. The femurs are the optimal bone for lengthening, and we can achieve three centimeter, excuse me, three inches uh, of length, or approximately eight centimeters, in both femurs in a single stage uh, lengthening using an internal lengthening nail. We measure the length of the femur and plan for the nail length. We measure the diameter and plan for the nail diameter. This is what it looks like. The osteotomy is done, shown by the um, orange arrow. The nail is inserted through a percutaneous approach into the proximal part of the femur through the hip. Interlocking screws are inserted through um, small wounds uh, denoted by the red arrows. The magnet, shown by the purple arrow, is what controls the lengthening, and a remote control device on the outside is used to spin that magnet and, and gradually elongate the nail. Uh, in this case, we achieved three inches of new bone. The mag marker, uh, shown on the left, the bottom left-hand corner, uh, and that's three inches of new bone. Uh, you can see the bone is starting to consolidate and become structurally sound. This is what it looks like when the bone is all healed. Um, with um, excellent remodeling and strength. And this is what it looks like after the rods come out. They typically are removed at about 9 to 12 months after the index surgery. This was Sam's journey. Before, he was 5 foot 4. Uh, after the reconstruction, he's now 5 foot 7. And he has expressed improved self-image, body image, self-esteem, confidence, and happiness. If you're a professional watching this presentation, you may want to take advantage of this resource, the Limb Lengthening and Reconstruction Surgery Case Atlas, three volumes containing the uh, gamut of limb lengthening. I thank you for your attention, and I hope that this has been informative update on stature lengthening surgery.